Presets are one of the most powerful features on the CodeWP platform, and they help us get from idea to generation in seconds. They create repeatable code generations in line with specific methodologies, APIs, and documentation for whatever mode they represent. So presets really help us create specific things in WordPress and these various plugins. So I'm in the WordPress mode right now, and if I choose a specific preset, it will generate code to get me to the end goal of say a dashboard widget, WP query, cron job, custom short code. These presets are heavily related to the modes. So if I go to the WooCommerce mode, you'll see that I have different presets available to me. Presets are released just like the modes are released from alpha to beta to general availability, and they can be pro only, or they can be available to everybody, including free users. If a mode doesn't have presets associated with it, the presets simply disappear here. So like I was saying, presets get us from point A to point B, and they make it so we don't have to refer to documentation. The way they do this is by asking a series of questions and then generating code according to the documentation. Simple presets will create single files, but more complex presets like those for Gutenberg blocks or page builder extensions will create multiple files from the information that they gather from you. So this is easier to show than tell. So I'm going to do a simple preset generation, and then I'll do a more complex generation. This dashboard widget preset under WordPress will generate code to add a new dashboard widget to the standard WordPress admin dashboard. I'll click into it and you'll see a couple of things happen. First, a new empty index.php file is generated. We see that we are in the dashboard widget preset here. Clicking this green bar will help us exit the flow and go back to our general conversational edit, explain generation capabilities. And the first question from the assistant comes through. And CodeWP will ask a series of questions related to that specific preset to figure out what you're trying to do in the confines of this dashboard widget, for example. And once it builds up its confidence that it knows what you're trying to create, it will go and write the code into the file editor. So let's go and run through this really quick. The purpose of the widget is to display an inspirational quote to all users, period. Admins should have different quotes than standard users, period. You should create the quotes yourself and add them into an array. Anybody with access to the dashboard I want it to be completely random. And you'll see that the series of questions, first off, relate to my previous responses, and it's really CodeWP trying to figure out how best to go and create the code for you. Once it builds up its confidence that it knows exactly what I'm trying to create, it will go and actually write the code. So it will say I've created this custom dashboard widget in line with this preset. And then it will also exit the preset. And you can see that this code follows the standard methodology of registering a dashboard widget in PHP. And this will work very well, and it follows my specific instructions. When instructing a preset, you can be really simple and really basic, or you can be pretty complex. So I would say my answers here were a bit complex because I knew exactly what I wanted to create. But if you don't know exactly what you wanna create, you can be really open-ended and simple with your answers allowing CodeWP to use its own backend logic and thought and creativity to go and create some code for you. Then once the code's generated, you exit the preset and we still have our standard features of explaining the code, editing the code, extending the code, whatever it may be conversationally by just entering the prompt here. So that is the purpose of a preset. It gets us from point A to point B. We don't need to refer to any documentation and it can get pretty complex. So. In the next example, I want to show you the Elementor presets. So this is a Elementor mode. I believe right now it's still in beta testing. So join the beta if you want to try this out. And you can see that I have three various presets available to me. I can register dynamic tags, custom form fields, custom theme conditions. And this is not specifically unique to the Elementor plugin. Every WordPress plugin was built to be extended by third party developers, and they provide specific methods and APIs to do that. So these presets slot into those specific methods and APIs. CodeWP has a perfect understanding of how the code should work, how it should be structured. And when in this preset, it will ask the questions to figure out what you want, and then it will go and create the code. So this can be for Elementor. But again, like I mentioned, it's available for many different modes. So if I jump into Breakdance, we have different presets like so. So I'll go back to Elementor, and I'm going to go and create a new custom form field for Elementor. And I'll just click into that 
and we'll enter the new preset, opening a new file uh, with this green status bar up top with the initial question right here, and it will begin this flow. Before I do the flow, I wanna show you how this actually works. So in this Elementor example, and again, this example is consistent throughout every other plugin that we support on CodeWP via modes, but Elementor was built to be extended. Elementor has a built-in form plugin right here, or a form solution right here, and it was built to be extended. So we can easily add new forms. We can easily add new fields, things like this. But to do that, it gets a bit complex. So we have a ton of code that needs to come out here, um, either in both a simple and an ex advanced example. So it can get pretty complex, especially if you don't know exactly what you're doing when it comes to PHP specific to Elementor. But luckily, CodeWP does. So if I want to register a new form field, I can just work with CodeWP, answer the questions that the preset gives me, and eventually get the generation right here. And this is a more advanced generation. It uses multiple files, and CodeWP understands how to do that. So let's go ahead and try this out. I want the new form field to accept credit card numbers. And I actually didn't even read the uh, message that I said, what form field, what should the form field be named? So I was a bit uh, not direct with my answer and code WP logic used its logic and reasoning and said, okay, we're just going to call a credit card number. It's not going to actually call it. I want the new form field to do whatever. It should accept credit card information. Uh, in both the credit card number and the standard format of this number. So CodeWP has collected all the information it needs to know about how to do this generation. Um, this was actually nice and simple, and it creates the first of the multiple files for this form field setup. So right here, we can see it follows the standard methodology of registering a new credit card field. It also has this file required and included. CodeWP then understands that this is the first file of several files in this generation from the preset, and it will say, I'm ready to create the preset files, confirm the ones that you want to create. So in this example, I only need to create one file. I open it up, I go right here, and it goes and creates the actual code for me. So this will register and handle a credit card number available to me in Elementor. And I think this is a great example of how we can do multi-file generations that are pretty complex and would be complex to try to do yourself. You can just use a preset, get walked through how this actual generation even works and be good to go. So right here, we can see everything working. This is a multi-file generation, so it creates a package. This package can easily be exported as a zip file, installed on Elementor and tested accordingly. So that is how this generation works. And I believe that I'll need to refresh. That's how this generation works and the preset feature as a whole works. It walks you through the actual generation of complex things, makes it simple by asking you a series of questions. And then once it understands what you're trying to create, it creates accurate code in line with the documentation given to us by the developers. So presets are a very powerful feature. They can be used to do simple things like dashboard widgets, short codes, things like that. And they can get all the way up to creating entire Gutenberg blocks, page builder elements, and things like that.